Okay. All right. Homework from last week. The first homework um, was um, these these four questions. What's the result of that expression? Then to look a little bit at um, how um, an exercise in terms of how uh, pointers work effectively. To look at a comparison and then finally look at some code continuation. So let's go through those one at a time. So what's the result of this expression? You might not be sure whether it would be 7, where you, which you would get as multiplying first and then adding, or if, it d if, if there was no precedence, then it might be 1 plus 2, giving you 3 times 3, which would be 9. Um, the answer is that um, Python um, having been written by somebody with a degree in mathematics, um, has a precedence for operators, so multiplication takes place before addition. So it's 2 times 3 plus 1, which gives us 7. Okay, next question is, what will the value of b be after executing these three lines of code? So we start out with a being 2, 3, 4, and that's a list. We say B is a tuple containing two um, instances of A. So it's a tuple containing two lists. And then we change the um, th third element of A. So when we do that, if we look at A, we see that A is 2, 3, 5 rather than 2, 3, 4, which is what it started at. And B contains two copies of A, just as we started. So this is an example of that, um, uh, of that um, referencing or pointer issue biting us if that's not what we wanted. So if you didn't want this to happen, if you wanted to take the values in A and do this and have B not change, you could do that a couple ways, but the easiest way would be to just simply reference A by slicing it. So you would just simply say A square bracket colon square bracket. And that gives you a new list containing the items in A. Okay, next one. Okay, um, how would you do this comparison in a simpler form? A is less than 4, or A is greater than 4. And I go through this in a little bit of detail here. But if you think about it a little bit, the only time that one of these two things will not be true is when A is equal to 4. So this test is equivalent to A not equal to 4. So that's just to get you used to thinking a little bit about how comparisons work. Okay. And then the last one is to do is, is, is continuations. And here, the object is to see that once you s use an open bracket or parenthesis or something like that, um, Python's just going to keep merrily taking line after line um, until it gets a close. So here we have an open square bracket. We can, and um, it begins a list, and everything goes fine until the list is closed on the next line. Um, here, we don't have anything that tells Python um, that this line is being continued because it's perfectly valid to end a line on a comma. And even if you had something that um, wasn't fine, like you had um, a plus sign, and you need with a plus sign you're going to need another argument for the plus operation, it's still not going to recognize that as a continued line. You have to use um, pr some parenthesis or brackets of some sort. So this one's invalid. This one's valid. And you don't have to just use, it's, it's not just, the parentheses don't just work for lists. Um, here's an expression, and that's fine too. So you can use as many lines as you want, um, as long as you start with parentheses. Okay, so that's the, that, that is those, those homework questions. Um, the next one was, um, how do you compute n factorial? Um, and first time to do it was to do it with a while loop. 
there's a bunch of ways you could do this, but um, here's a fairly simple one. I've set my value of n to be 5, um, just for a test. I set product to start out as n. Then I do a loop as long as n is greater than 1. You might ask, what about greater than or equal to 1? Well, that works fine, too, um, as long as I stop before I get to 0. If I have n get to 0, then I'm going to multiply by 0, and I'm not going to get the factorial. Um, so here I subtract 1, so now I'm, and then I multiply the product by n, and um, then I loop through again. If n is greater, so, so I'll do this first time through, n will be 4, um, and I keep doing this when n is 2 after this, then I multiply by 2, and that's fine. Um, and actually, I will end up multiplying by 1 because I could have stopped when n is, I could have done this as long as n is greater than 2 now that I think about it. Um, so um, last time through, n is 2, n is now 1. I multiply by 1, I get the same thing. So um, the product is 120, and 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 is 120. So that's the factorial. Um, you can do it even more compactly if you use a for statement with, um, with range. Um, so uh, again, n is set to 5. This time I'll start with product being 1. And I'll ask range to generate the integers from 2 to n. And remember that if I would put in 2 to, 2 to n here, what it would have done is it would have given me to n minus 1. So I ask for call range with n plus 1. So that'll give me the range 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, whatever up goes up to n. And then I just simply multiply sequentially by those, by those, thi by those, by those integers. And again, I get 120. Questions on any of this?